Well, I'm, when I met Monsignor, it was the early 90s. Uh, it was a graduate student just out of my undergraduate um, years and really an ambitious theology student. I was at the John Paul II Institute, super excited to be there, um, super serious, and expecting every class to be you know, a high-powered introduction to the, the art and discipline of theology. So much to my surprise, of course, one day I was in, a class, in my first class with Monsignor and um, the class started 10 or 15 minutes late. We're all just kind of, students are milling around wondering where is the professor. He comes in, uh, rotund Puerto Rican Monsignor, smoke wafting around him, uh, powdered sugar on his lapel, and um, it probably was another 10 or 15 minutes before the class started because he was telling jokes and stories. And, um, and that, was the, that was the introduction. Everybody got to Monsignor. <laughs> but when you're expecting a lecture, when you're sitting with, with your pen in hand, you know, and you're ready to get something, it was, it was at the moment when it happened, I was shocked. I was shocked. Um, and, but, you know, shock soon gave way to affection, excitement, surprise because um, what you saw was what you got with Monsignor Abbasete. He was uh, disorganized, impoverished in some ways, and wholly present to you, wholly there. And you know, I, I, I was thinking about it on the drive down and I thought, when you study theology, I mean, the theology is the study of the word of God, right? And with Monsignor, the word became flesh. I mean, you just were present to someone who was not just doing this as an academic discipline, but was living it as their life. And you know, it, it was exciting to do this book because the, the theme of faith and life is, is present throughout the entire book in different ways. And what Monsignor gave me, and I, I share the same feeling that Greg has, is total gratitude. I mean, he gave me theology as life.